Seeing the Backstreet Boys for the first time was the epitome of my life. I was 14. I won tickets on the local Z95 radio station. It was like a countdown, and you had to call in the top eight songs of the night. And I was at a friend's house, and we both grabbed you know, both, both phones or just redial, redial. I finally got through, won the tickets, and it was in San Antonio. So my parents took me and a friend um, to San Antonio. It was during the week. She got us out of school early. And being there, and we were up in the nosebleeds, but it didn't matter because we were there. She was just the biggest fan as I was. And to, I mean, to see them, it was, I mean, I just remember being exhilarated. This was like my life's dream. And I could not, I couldn't even, it was just like a blur because I was so excited. I was going through my Backstreet Boy stuff. I have stuff all over. And I found uh, the seventh grade paper that I wrote in my English class, and it was about my wedding ceremony to Nick Carter. And it was complete with um, my bridesmaids and the colors and where we were gonna be married. So it's pretty embarrassing, but at the time it was, it was my truth. <laughs> As I walked down the aisle, my heart was thumping. It was my wedding day to the finest man alive, Nick Carter. He had proposed to me three months earlier in Rome. I was so excited. I had a beautiful white gown with pearls and flowers everywhere. Nick was wearing a black tuxedo, a white bow, and a purple cummerbund. He wore that because our wedding colors were purple and green. My parents were so happy to see me marrying the man that I knew I would marry since I was 11 years old. The piano started playing and I started walking down the red, red and flowered aisle. I looked at my parents, then at Nick. Then I was there. The best man was Brian Luttrell, and the maids of honor were Jenny Luttrell and Sadie Vanderbeek. The minister started saying the vows and Nick said, I do. Now it was my turn and I said, I do. Then we kissed each other and now we were gone. People were throwing rice as we left the church. When we got to the reception, there was ribbons and flowers everywhere. We danced all night long to the Backstreet Boys and then we lived happily ever after. Epilogue. We left on our honeymoon to Hawaii. People started throwing rice as we left the church. Then from there, we went to Paris where Nick was gonna record his next Backstreet Boys album. We had three children and one more coming due in February. <laughs>